Good morning, folks. Number of stories to hit today, but the big one is on the sun. An Earth-directed CME has erupted and is on its way to Earth. Let's get a better look at spaceweathernews.com. And the first comment is that this was a minor event. There will be no major effects occurring from the CME, even if the delta from utter silence on our star does provide geomagnetic storms. The solar flare barely scratched up into C-class range, about 100 times less powerful than an X-class flare and 1,000 times less powerful than the September 2017 blast. It occurred at the northern group of sunspots, and the outward shockwave you see after the flash is, in fact, the ejection. Now, while SOHO coronagraphs and the Enlil spirals are not yet updated this morning, I can assure you that the small CME is heading at Earth via the stereo A coronagraph view, Earth off to the right there. When it arrives, we do have the potential for a consecutive impact event, as the coronal holes will be providing more intense solar wind as well. The CME impact will be between Sunday afternoon and Tuesday morning. We'll know more when the endless spirals update. One of them is on spaceweathernews.com below the solar wind and to the right of the KP. Want to quickly note Popo in Mexico, let out a puff, and continued overnight. Aesthetically pleasing. First news article today is about geoengineering. UN is having their official proposal and analysis phase for spraying the sky and sucking out CO2. For everyone who is about to comment that it's been going on for a long time, yeah, we know, welcome to the party, but this is the kind of thing you want to watch for in the news so you can stay up to date but also find out which professors are fighting against it, which professors are on our side. Up next, there was a supernova in the Large Magellanic Cloud whose light reached Earth in 1987. It had made a previous shell release that formed a disk which was blasted by the 1987 eruption, and so while it has been commonly believed that those were the shed and core collapse events at this star, they are noticing a rebrightening of the region now. If it's not a background event and is the supernova shell itself, then something recurring is happening at the most famous nova ever. Folks, this is rough for the scientists, but excellent in terms of science. The waste of money on colliders is outrageous, and Japan seems to recognize the conundrum between putting on the show of science might and walking down a dead-end road. And with that, let's come to Hubble and Gaia, teaming up to measure the Milky Way. And as if the dark matter folks didn't have a hard enough job, they say our galaxy weighs more than they thought, all due to dark matter, which makes the failures to find it thus far even more egregious and the true answer of electromagnetic forces and dusty plasma having to sit quietly at the back of the room, waiting their turn. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Dr. LaViolette's video yesterday was aimed at clearing up the confusion. He does point to the sun. Full chat we had can be heard in the deeper look section of the website. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.